CGCP3108 by Chastatica. White is a hidden material with a pair of rooks and a bishop. Black only has a rook and a pawn. The bishop on e6 is threatened, so maybe in this position, white should play rook to d1 check, skewering the king against the rook, in a sense. After king to e5, maybe rook to g5 check. If king captures bishop, rook to g6 check, king to f7, rook on the d file captures rook, e3, and this game will soon come to an end. But is that the best way to proceed? Let's confirm. Actually, no. The fastest way to win in 3 moves instead of 12 or 13 is rook to g5. Now let's see what happens if black tries something like e3. Well then rook to c4 mates. And what about rook to d5? Well then rook captures rook with mate. And what about rook to a6? Same thing, rook to c4 mate. So basically, white gives up the bishop. And it would be prudent for black to capture it. And here, interestingly, rook on the g file, the same one that just moved, moves again to c5. Now no matter what black plays, rook on the first rank to c4 checkmates. Let's rewind. So in this position, you can actually win in just 3 moves by ignoring the threat to the bishop and moving the rook to g5. Because as we saw, the best defense to this is rook captures bishop and after this, rook on the g file to c5 and then rook on the first rank to c4 cannot be avoided. Now what if White had played something like rook on the c file to c5, which seems like something some people might do. This is a mistake as you can see from the analysis. Suddenly there's no forced mate. So black could try rook to d6. And while white will probably go on to win this, it's going to take a lot longer. Thanks for watching.